Hello <laughs> friends of Paolo Sector Meyer's Daggerworks. Today we look at play number three and um, as usual Inga and me will show you the complete uh, play and then we discuss the um, each part. Okay, so let's begin. Um, one. Two. Three. Four. Haha, <laughs> five. <laughs> Okay, um, we begin not as uh, you can see it in the picture. Um, on the side, so the picture. <laughs> um, in the picture, you see um, the both fencers being in a bind. Okay, so, and what you see here is wrong because when you look exactly in, uh, in the picture, um, they are not on one line, um, they are on different lines. So, and this happens most likely uh, because we have an action before. So my first action is, I want to stab Inga to the heart. She's my darling, I want to go to her heart here. Okay, and um, she is parrying that, and this was suggested by one of our viewers. Thank you for this cool idea. Um, she is, um, she is parrying that by an uppercut. So um, she's stepping off the line, she's stepping off the line and cutting upwards. And um, this is also a nice, um, a nice isolation exercise which you can do with your students or alone uh, or with, uh, with a partner. So one is just uh, stabbing, one is just stabbing and the other is cutting upwards and Stepping out of line. Wir machen es noch ein paar Mal. Mhm. Auf die andere Seite. So you, you see, you see what happens. She's she's stepping. She's this is my line of attack, the white line, and she's stepping off this line, turning on her rear feet and cutting, cutting my wrist here. So you see from from training, it's all red. Um, it's a good 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 exercise. So. Okay, come on, up. And um, do this as fast as you want. It works, it's pretty interesting. So, um, but this is not actually the beginning. And the beginning now comes when I anticipate that she will do that. So, what I do is I take my dagger on my arm. I come here with my, with my step, but I take my dagger on the arm to protect my arm. And um, now we must assume that she assumed uh, that I assume this and um, <coughs> so we might end up in this strange bind. So I come here, she steps out of line and then we come here. And uh, now you have... Oh no, we must have another one. <coughs> and uh, from, from this side you, you see this, is, this resembles what you can see in Maya's picture. So um, from here he says uh, Take her hand and go with it below and step to the right, uh, trust to the right side. So this is what I, what I do here. I uh, bring her arm down. I don't hold her much. I just bring it down and step to the, uh, 
yeah, st stepping, stepping, trust, trust, step, I step through to her right side. So, she doesn't like that and, um, and, and grabs my, my elbow and makes a, a big step with her left foot forward, pushing me here. Maya doesn't, uh, doesn't describe a step here, but she has all the opportunity to do so. But I'm aware what she can do. And um, from here we, we go back again. Go back down. So here I feel she's coming forward. Okay? And I retreat zu gleichen Füßen. So to uh, with, the, with the feet feet parallel on the same on the same line. And I wind outside. So I wind contra-clockwise. I wind outside and step for her head or where I, where I reach her here. The interesting point is my other hand is still here and can slap her down and even if she's trying to cut my belly or what, she, she's not in reach of me. But I'm in reach of her head because I have the upper hand here. <laughs> right? Um, if this would be otherwise, go on the uh, same foot. Mach mal, du die gleichen Füße. So, yeah, she, if she's here and I'm here, yeah, even if I have long, longer arms, I, I, she has the upper part. And I think this is why Maya says, okay, um, retreat to, um, to parallel feet. Um, because on the one hand, I take off her pressure, so she, because she, she's pushing me, she's pushing me, I take her, her pressure and I'm out of reach. Okay, uh, this might solve the riddle of this um, strange posture. Okay, so um, the last point, we go, we go back to, to, this, to this one. Okay. <coughs> up, up. The last one is, she's parrying that now with her dagger on her arm. Um, and uh, we interpret this as uh, she's also supporting her arm with uh, the other arm. So I can press, but there's nothing. I can, can't get through here. Um, now I'm uh, going under her right, <laughs> going under her right arm, and make a big step forward. And this way, I turn her around, and now I have all the targets here on the uh, on the on the um, on the neck. We can show this from the other side. Okay, again. So here we are. And now I make my, my step forward. I go here, I just push her forward uh, just by going a step. Let me, let me see. And from here, I have targets here in the neck. And this is what he says. Uh, so you don't need to, to push the other person on the ground because you want to kill him. So hold him, <laughs> push him gently, and then go for the neck. Um, we found this also to be an interesting isolation exercise um, to to grasp me down. To um, so so just uh, just this this last part. Um, you one 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 is attacking one is attacking from from above. The other is carrying like that. And then you push because it's it's not so easy. You have to find um, you have to find this uh, um, this point. Most people grab upwards here, but you have to grab here to um, to control to control this point. Okay, again. Okay. So and um, I think that summarizes almost for today. So I think Maya emphasizes in this play and also in the next play the fact that you can use the dagger on your inner arm as, um, as a barrier. Okay, So from, from ice pick grip to a shield and um, this is why he might use this several times here in this one and also in the bind. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you, Inga. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>